Hi and welcome to another video by Get It Done Home Repairs. Today we're going to talk about installing crown molding on our kitchen project. Anybody who's been following this along knows that we've got the cabinets in, everything is all done, and we're up to putting the molding on. Um, I will tell you this, if you have bigger molding that you're going to be doing, you have to make sure that you have a saw that's capable of cutting it. This molding that we're using here is, I think it's like four or four and a half inches, so a regular chop saw is not going to work. We needed to use something that's a little bit bigger and is able to cut through without any problems. This saw, as you can see, this is a, I believe this is a 12 inch blade on here, so this is what they call a compound. You can actually uh, cut, come down and make your cut and you can push it back to cut through the entire uh, piece of stock that you're cutting. Uh, these are a little bit longer pieces. I'm not going to film that, but I'm going to show you the smaller cuts so we can put this job back together and then we'll go inside and we're going to nail it back up and we're going to finish this project up. Alright, so this is the stock that we're going to do now. I'm going to make my cuts. As you can see, I, I scored it already where I was going to cut it and then I decided I better video this for you. So, but this is how we're going to do it. We're going to take this, put it up against here, like this, so that it fits into the into the saddle and it sits flat on the top and flat on the bottom and then we're going to make our cut. Alright, so like I said, this piece of, um, of material is too big that we're going to be cutting and trying to nail up. So when I do the smaller intricate pieces, I'll take you along and I'll show you. Alright, so stick around and we'll get this job done. Okay, so now after we have the, uh, the molding this cut, we put them up on top. We're going to put a piece of wood to make the distance above the door so that it doesn't touch it, the crown molding itself. Then we're going to take our molding, put it up inside here. We'll take our nail gun, and we're going to make sure that our brad nailer is nailing into the face of the cabinet. Make sure it doesn't uh, just hang and not catch into something. So we're going to put it up against it, and just pull the trigger. And that's it. All right, we're going to take our side piece now. And we're going to put our side piece on the, on the cabinet here, obviously, but I just want to point this out to you. When you have a cabinet, sometimes you'll wind up with a little bit of a lip, like this has a little bit of a, uh, a quarter inch lip on here. And when you put your molding, your um, crown molding up on here, you see how this is here? And you have, you have that little bit of a space underneath here, it's a quarter inch. But what happens if you nail on your crown molding and it's, and it's not piece of wood on there, it's going to pull the crown molding in and it's going to open up this joint right up here. Instead of being a nice tight joint, you're going to have a joint that's going to look sort of like that. So what I did is I took a piece of flat um, material, black, just like the cabinets. I uh, nailed it on here with our brad nailer and now when we put our crown molding up on here, you can see that it doesn't even show up there. It's, it blends in perfectly with it. All right, so let me put a couple of nails in here and we'll finish this, uh, this molding here off. Okay, then we're gonna put our finishing nails in here. So this crown molding is finished. Obviously we are gonna take this off of here because this was just to keep the gap above the door so that we didn't have a problem with interfering with the, uh, with the opening and closing of the door. Alright, this one is finished. We're going to continue over here. We'll get the crown molding up on this side. We already put the crown molding up on that side. And uh, that's it. This job will be done. Okay, now up here on these corners here, these are all 45 degree angles that we're cutting here on the, on the corners. But the, the corner cabinet right here is not a 45. It's actually 45 divided in half or 22.5 degrees cut that we need to do on here. So that is what we're going to do is we're going to cut the corners here are going to be 22.5 uh, degrees each one of the corners. So let's go in the garage, finish cutting this, we'll nail it up and this job will be done. Okay so now we have the saw set to 22.5 and now we're going to make this end cut over here so that we can put it in that corner piece right there. The, the one corner is a 22.5 degree angle and the other is, is a 45 degree cut. So one side is cut already, we're just going to make our finished cut on the other side now. Now when, when you cut crown molding, always make sure you're cutting it the way you're supposed to. This is actually the bottom, so you always want to make sure that you cut the crown molding in relationship to where it's going to be on the cabinet. This is going to be down, this is going to be up towards the ceiling, so you mm -hmm. always have to cut it on the side that you're going to put on the bottom because if you have another piece 
if you cut it the wrong way, and this piece here is actually cut that way, the angles on the back are going to be off and it's not going to line up properly. So always make sure you cut your, uh, your wood with the same piece facing up or down, whatever you choose. I've been cutting it with the piece facing up, so that's the way I'm going to do it. Having the right saw makes all the difference. All right, let's cut a couple more pieces. Let's get back inside, get this molding up, and wrap this job up. Alright, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.